applying epoxies on oily surfaces uh, one of my students from my online course asked me this question so I thought I'd make a video where I show a real case study what we did this was uh, a few years ago an olive oil factory very very messy industry lots of oil on the floor lots of contaminated concrete we had to clean all this up so we could apply a new epoxy floor on top it got very very uh, messy so before you even start by do not consider any special product you hear these uh, special primer for oils or special detergents these are people trying to make money by selling you things but first you need to get the basics right you need to clean up the mess before you even consider these products because if you don't clean up the mess first you will get peeling floors no one wants that it makes you look back look bad like a professional you can blame the oil for it but you it still makes you look bad. Your job is to provide a get a clean floor first and then apply any epoxy. So step one is you want to wash the surface level grime because if you don't wash the grime on the surface you can't use any sort of machines because your machines will just get stuck. You try grinding oil and you'll just get the uh, diamonds getting stuck. So you want to get a power washer and just wash all that grime out, wash all the oils before your machines get stuck and start breaking down. And once you've done that first step, then you can look into bringing in a scarifying machine or, or a milling machine. These machines are very good when you're working with oils because they kind of help remove an upper crust, an upper layer of concrete that's been contaminated. So by running these milling machines up and down the floor, you are basically removing a small layer of concrete and you should always aim to remove at least one or two millimeters of the concrete. Uh, this way you're just improving the whole quality and just, just improving, like removing that top layer. After that, you can also bring in a grinder. This is a different project. So you've removed the messy parts and then a grinder can help sort of, you can sort of focus on specific areas that still have problems. Bring in the grinder. It will also help you remove areas and you can then move to the next step which is well first you want to let it dry let the whole surface dry collect all the dust and then reinspect the area and it's very likely you will still have some oily areas some oily patches and once you found those oily areas then you can go back and you can bring out the chemicals like in this example you want to be careful when you work with these chemicals like caustic soda because they are corrosive you want to spread some of this chemical on the oily area and just let the reaction take place and see what happens. Leave it a few hours, clean up the area, let the chemicals do the work. You may want to wash the area and then re-grind that area. This may take several days to complete because you might keep on have to do it several times. So be patient. Do not expect to uh, clean in the morning and prime in the afternoon. And you want to repeat the above step several se several times as long as it takes to clean up the oils so you've reached the floor at a stage where you feel quite confident that there's not much oil left in the floor you can't really eliminate all the oils but you should aim to eliminate 90 percent of the oil 98 percent of the oils um, that's sort of my rule just you want to when you're ready to proceed you want to feel comfortable and then you can start applying the primer like in this picture and yes, you can use primers that are better equipped to deal with oily surfaces. You can either use these primers topically on the areas where you've got oily surfaces, or you can apply the same primer everywhere if you just feel that the whole floor is really messy. Anyway, if you want to learn more about primers and how to apply them and the whole step from start to finish, if you want to be, get involved professionally in epoxy flooring, we have a course that's really good if you are new to the area. If you have some sort of construction background but you are not really don't know much about flooring, check out our course. I'm going to post a link below because I think it's really good. It's a really good step-by-step -step course. And also, you want to check out these videos. They're also very good. And they're going to help you uh, grow. And if you are enjoying these videos, please subscribe to our channel. You can share some of these videos with your friends because it helps us grow and it helps us keep on making these videos. Thank you very, very much for watching.